so today we are discussing about simplification of the goodwill treatment remember in admission of partnership in admission of partnership we will be preparing three important accounts that is uh, two important accounts number one is revaluation account revaluation account number two is partners capital account and number three is balance sheet remember balance sheet is not an account balance sheet is a statement these two are accounts and balance sheet is a statement it cannot be called as accounts because double entry principles do not apply the debit credit concept udhar nahi aata hai so these are the three important accounts we prepare and apart from this not in your board in other cases there will be two more accounts you will be requested to prepare one is cash or bank account and the next next one is goodwill account these are the additional accounts which you may be asked to prepare okay so now compulsory accounts are these three accounts which will be asked for 12 marks so let me explain you why these three accounts are open okay so now what one thing what you need to remember so this is very important line which you need to remember is first one that is balance sheet records now what i am speaking about is that is balance sheet it records book value book value and not market value book value and not market value now what is mean by book value and not market value so whatever amount we are recording in the balance sheet they are the um, they are the historical amounts that means the amount at which it is purchased and we kept on depreciating depreciating it and after it, Anurag Kanpurthi, there is a disturbance from your side, sir. I request you to mute your mic. Anurag Kanpurthi. Anurag Kanpurthi, I request you to mute your mic. There is a lot of disturbance from your side. now the balance sheet records amount at book value and not market value so because of this what happens when somebody is entering into your business he will not rely on the book value because these are the value which is not as per the somebody if uh, you have anurag's number please call and intimate him even though i am repeating he is not able to understand please you call and inform him to mute his mic now so what we understood is we have we are recording values at book value and not market value because of this while entering the business remember how much i am going to bring capital it depends on the value of assets and liabilities okay if you remember yesterday i spoke about intrinsic value what was intrinsic value 
the total assets minus liabilities so total assets minus liabilities will be intrinsic value on the basis of that intrinsic value goodwill sorry capital will be brought into the business okay so for this reason knowing intrinsic value is very important and to know the inter intrinsic value we should have the up to date value of the asset but book values are not the up to date values of the assets and liabilities so now what we will do is we have in balance sheet book values what we have in balance sheet book values now then what we will do is we record the assets and liabilities at market value once a partner is admitted and for example assume that as per the book value i have a bidding worth rupees 2 lakh but when i check the market value it came to 5 lakh rupees okay so now what i have done is i have done revaluation of the asset what i have done revaluation because already the asset was valued at rupees 2 lakh then what i did is i revalued it so in the process of this revaluation there may be a profit for example my, i i assumed that my asset value was 2 lakh but what actually what it is 5 lakh that means there is a increase in the value of asset by 3 lakh rupees so that is a profit for me okay if the same value of the asset was reduced then definitely we could have called it as loss so what when when we revalue the asset there will be profit there will be loss and both this profit and losses will be recorded in the revaluation account hope you are able to understand where where it will be recorded revaluation account if somebody asks you what is the revaluation of account you need to tell it is a special account which is opened at the time of admission or retirement of partner two calculate the profit or loss on revaluation of assets and liabilities now like bidding there will be many assets and many liabilities you will be taking to total profit on all the assets and loss on all the assets so after merging you come to know whether you got profit or loss and whatever profit or loss is there that will be transferred to old partners and not to the all partners remember where it will be transferred old partners and not to the all partners question arises why the reason is it is the whatever asset value is there that way they were before admission when it is before admission what it means is जो बिफोर एडमिशन है उसका मतलब क्या होता है उसका मतलब यह है कि ओनली ओल्ड पार्टनर्स वेर देयर न्यू पार्टनर वाज नॉट देयर सो इफ द प्रॉफिट इज ड्यू टू द एक्टिविटीज व्हिच हैपेंड बिफोर एडमिशन द न्यू पार्टनर विल नॉट बी गिवन शेयर फॉर दैट 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 मेक्स नो सेंस टू गिव ओके सो नाउ सो दिस इज फर्स्ट वन दैट इज रीवैल्यूएशन अकाउंट एंड द नेक्स्ट वन इज पार्टनर्स कैपिटल अकाउंट so in the partners capital account what we do is as i said when a partner enters there will be change in the capital of partners other partners also right because goodwill will be brought some amount will be withdrawn or some amount may be added yearly salary and all will be paid so for all the changes we pre prepare a separate account that is called as capital account with each partner's name which records only the transactions relating to them so that's why this account is called as partners capital account remember the partners capital account starts with old balances old balances remember it starts with old balances and at the end it gives us the current values it gives us the current values so that's why so partners capital account starts with the previous year balance and at the end it gives us the current year balance and which will be held to prepare the balance sheet. hope you are aware that in the balance sheet we take capital so the the capital yes. updated capitals will be found in partners capital account clear then yes next sir is, hope you have understood have you understood yes sir yes sir 
Yes, sir. Okay. Now, what we understood is in revaluation account, we find out profit or loss on revaluation of assets and liabilities. In the revaluation, we calculate profit or loss on revaluation of assets and liabilities. Indeed, why we prepare partners capital account? We prepare partners capital account to ascertain closing balances. Why we prepare? We prepare to ascertain the closing balance. And why we prepare? Balance sheet. Remember, this balance sheet is called as new balance sheet. Under here, under the grey, new, new balance, balance sheet. sheet. Now, question arises, sir. Question arises, sir. Why this is called as a new balance sheet? Because in your problem already there will be a balance sheet. Okay. आपके problem में आपको क्या दिया जाता है balance sheet? Already balance sheet दिया जाता है. Now that balance sheet is a old balance sheet. That balance sheet is a old balance sheet. And that old balance sheet is used to prepare this new balance sheet. So, in order to differentiate both, that is referred as old, and this is referred as new. And always remember why new balance sheet is prepared. It is prepared to ascertain the financial position. It is prepared to ascertain financial position. Clear? Clear? Yes, eh? sir. Yes, sir. One thing I will tell you. Jo goodwill hai, the item goodwill. Goodwill never appears in revaluation account. Remember, goodwill is an account which never appears in revaluation. Where it will appear? It will appear in balance sheet. Hey, sorry, it will appear in partner's capital account. It will appear in Partners capital account and it is pakka that it will be appearing in partners capital account. But in few cases only it appears in balance sheet. So there is a chance that it may appear or it may not appear. It may appear or it may not appear. Okay. So this is all about admission of partner. How many accounts we need to open? We need to open three accounts. Three One accounts. will be revaluation. Second is partners capital. Third is no. no. Third is cash account, right? And the fourth is balance sheet. Yeah. So cash account we ignore, right? So try to understand and goodwill. So put a heading. On in your notebook that table showing table showing. Ho hope you have written this. Yes, sir. Whether you have noted down this. Ah, yes, points specially up note kar Revaluation account, partners capital account, why they are open. But the, if you do not write this, it is okay. But that's very, very important to be wrote, noted. So heading is table showing treatment of goodwill. Table showing treatment of goodwill. Treatment of goodwill. Now, 
Now here, the first case that is brought in cash. Next. brought in cash and withdrawn brought in cash and withdrawn the next is goodwill raised Goodwill raised. The next is Goodwill raised and written. Goodwill raised and written off. This side, I write partner's capital account. That means these box will explain you how the treatment is done in partner's capital account. And this below one will tell you how we treat it in balance sheet. The first one is in the partner's capital account when the goodwill is brought in cash. If you check, first check the journal entries what we have passed. The first entry was cash account debit to goodwill account. It is there or Sir. No. check first entry. Yes, sir. It is there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, here, in the partner's capital account, first entry cash to goodwill will not give any effect because the partner's capital account ka naam hi nahi hai. Whereas in the second journal entry, you can see the journal entries goodwill account debit to old partner's capital account. It is yes, the sir. second yes, sir. journal entry. Yes, now, so this is partner's capital account. I write here, it appears as by goodwill account. By goodwill account. And it should be distributed in sacrifice ratio. I think in general entry also, I have written. I, yes, I have sir. asked you to note down in sacrifice in ratio. That it should be distributed in sacrifice ratio. Now, so this is when goodwill is brought in cash when it is brought in cash you tell me when it is brought in cash cash balance will increase or decrease increase it will increase now assume that assume that your firm had a cash balance of 10000 and a new partner brings to the firm 20,000 rupees as goodwill. What will be the cash balance total? 30,000. 30,000. 30, okay, so this 30,000, uh, 30, that led to increase. Right? So that's why here we need to write added to added to cash or bank balance added to cash or bank balance now 
hope you have understood when the goodwill is brought in cash first what we need to do you should write by goodwill and you distribute it in the sacrifice ratio and in balance sheet what do you need to do you need to add to cash or bank balance if he has given cash cash balance square karo if he has given bank then add to bank balance the next is brought in cash and withdrawn first brought in cash hai to ye to same aayega that is by goodwill account by goodwill account again which ratio sacrifice ratio now you come to the journal entries of goodwill brought in cash and withdrawn i think there is a additional entry you tell me what is that additional entry old partners capital account debit to cash account ha huh. very good old partners capital account debit to cash, cash account so cash here account. what we can write is to cash account. so now here it is brought in cash right that means when it is brought in cash first it should be added to cash or bank balance added to cash or bank balance but and when it is withdrawn it should be deducted right so here i write deducted from cash or bank balance deducted from cash or bank balance deducted from cash or bank balance hope you have understood this yes sir now the next is goodwill raised the next is goodwill raised can you check the journal entries for goodwill raised what is the journal entry goodwill account debit to old partners capital account very good very good goodwill account debit to old partners capital account that means in the old partners capital account it should appear as by goodwill account by goodwill account you check which ratio i have given to distribute old ratio old ratio sir so here i write or that is old ratio okay and when this is the case goodwill will be separately shown in balance sheet asset side separately shown in balance sheet asset side now next now the goodwill is raised and also written off and remember in accountancy the word written off means removing it from accounts that means wo accounts mein uska existence nahi rahega that is called as written off so now the goodwill is raised and also written off now how to do it see when the goodwill is raised first we need to write by goodwill account and it is to be distributed in old ratio by goodwill account 
it is to be distributed in old ratio same as it is because it is here also there is raised and you just see for write off what is the journal entry we passed yesterday all partners capital account debit to goodwill account all partners capital account debit to goodwill account so now in the partners capital account we should write to goodwill account and this should be distributed in new ratio this should be distributed in new ratio right now what i said what is mean by written off maine written off ka matlab kya bataya tha aapko going through from all ha when an account is removed from the accounts will that appear in balance sheet no sir no sir no so that's why that's why it should not be shown in accounts it should not be shown in balance sheet it should not be shown in balance sheet finished hope yes, you all sir. have noted down yes sir. yes sir now next in order to actually there are two methods that this is number 1 ye jo pehle ki do cases aate hai jo number 1 mein aate hai jo next two cases aate hai wo number 2 mein aate hai what i mean to say is the first two come under the case one that is brought in cash and the second one comes under the raised and written off raised and written off ye dono ek case mein aate hai wo dono ek case mein aate hai actually both of them ultimately result in same so for that i will give you example how we will account it now assume that the old ratio of the partner is 1 is to 1 we call it as equal what is old ratio equal okay then next is we also assume that the new ratio is also equal but new ratio will be of three members so that will be 1 is to 1 is to 1 and if these two are equal then certainly sacrifice ratio will also be equal which is 1 is to 1 because old be equal hai new be equal hai to certainly sacrifice bhi kya hoga equal hi hoga okay so now in this case what we assume is the total goodwill is 60000 how much is the goodwill 60000 now i will tell you how e under e each case we account okay so first case goodwill brought in cash this the, you can write this with pencil in your notebook first i write here by goodwill in the partners capital account what i do i write by goodwill, goodwill. and i see 60000 is the total amount and it should be divided by 1 by 3 it should be divided by 1 by 3 so how much will be the share of goodwill you check because new partners share is 1 by 3 
So sixty thousand into one by three will be twenty two. Twenty two. Ha. Twenty. Twenty thousand. Okay. So I said you twenty thousand should be divided in which ratio? Twenty thousand. What is the ratio we divide? Sacrifice ratio. And what is the sacrifice ratio here? One is to one. One is to one. So one is to one. So one is to one. So each get twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Clear? It will be twenty thousand and twenty thousand. Now to make you understand well, hope you have written this. Ah, uh, uh, ne box ko draw kiya hai. Table ho gaya hai apka. Have you finished the noting down? Yes, so that I can yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, you have finished. Now, if I draw an account, it will give you a perfect understanding of this concept. now let me draw an account assume that there are three partners a b and c and this is particular column and then next c b and a so this gives you a perfect understanding of each case we will see how each case will behave now let the example be same that is goodwill amount is totally 30000 okay and old ratio is also equal and new ratio is also equal remember that old ratio is equal means there will be only two partners so it will be 1 is to 1 after addition of new partner it will be 3 so it will be 1 is to 1 is to 1 so now first when the goodwill is brought in cash it will be by goodwill account okay so how it will be calculated total 60000 into 1 by 3 60000 into 1 by 3 So it will be twenty thousand, and the sacrifice ratio is one is to one. So it will be. We assume that C is the new partner. So it will be. Uh, uh, sorry. No. It will be ten thousand. Ten thousand. Ten thousand because totally. It will be twenty thousand. So when you divide it equally, it will be ten thousand and ten thousand. So this is the case one. Under case one, only this will happen. That is, by goodwill, you just write simply ten thousand and ten thousand finished. Then in the second case, it will be. same that is by goodwill account by goodwill account the amount will be 10000 10000 dash 10000 10000 and dash and if it is withdrawn here it will be To cash or 
bank account that is 10,000, 10,000 dash. So this is under case two. Excuse me, sir. You are able to understand how goodwill appears, same goodwill appears in different ways. Sir, why do you divide in only two ratios, sir? What? Why do you divide because, in only two ratios? Huh, if you remember, I said that the or even I have may, make you to note also that the, sh the uh, goodwill which is brought in cash should be divided in sacrifice ratio. Okay. Now here, as per our assumption, A and B are old partners and C is new partner. Okay. A and B are old partners and C is new partner. Only A and B can sacrifice because they are the old partners. So that's why the goodwill which is is brought in cash is distributed only to old partners because they only can sacrifice. Whether you have understood? Yes. Okay. Now, when the goodwill is raised, this is the third case. Now, this is slightly different, which you need to remember by goodwill account. The entire goodwill, not just his share, will be divided in the old ratio. What, what is old ratio? Equal. So, 60,000 in. 1 is to 1. 60,000 will be divided in 1 is to 1. That will be 30,000. 30,000 dash. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand dash. Then next is. This is only when goodwill is raised. Only this treatment will be given. Right? Then next is when the goodwill is raised and written off. When the goodwill